If Pi Network fails to open its main net at this juncture, it's essentially reaching a critical point. My downline members are consistently expressing their frustration, stating that if Pi Network doesn't open its main net by March 2024, they plan to cease clicking on the lightning button and are contemplating uninstalling the Pi Network app from their phones. Hello and welcome to the Fortune TV Show YouTube channel. Today we are going to share with you guys some crucial data with you. Among friends invited to join Pi Network, only 10% remain, and they are still engaging with the platform. Recalling the time when the online rate experienced its steepest decline, which coincided with the announcement of the closed main net at the end of December 2021, and on June 28, 2022, when Pi Today was still not open for hosting. Perhaps some viewed Pi Network as lacking credibility due to the absence of a main net, and they decided to stop engaging. Were they prescient, foreseeing the project's shortcomings early on, or are those of us continuing to participate just realizing it later? Even in this scenario, where doubts persist, we're still actively participating. Are we the ones still clicking on lightning? Simply late in recognizing the situation, can we ultimately emerge victorious? It all hinges on whether Pi Network opens its main net before the specified time. So guys, we hope that you're enjoying the ride with our contents, right? So we'd really appreciate your help. Could you take a moment to share your thoughts on our transcribed videos based on language? Let us know if the translations are accurate and if the content is 100% understandable. Your support seriously means the world to us. If you like what we're doing, consider hitting that subscribe button, giving our videos a thumbs up. It's not just a boost for us, but also a signal to YouTube that our content matters to the Pi Network community. Don't want to miss out on what's coming next? Smash that notification bell. And hey, if you want to contribute directly to the improvement of our content and help us acquire better studio equipment, consider using Super Stickers or Super Chat or Consider using Buy Me Coffee link in the description. Every little bit helps us get closer to upgrading our studio gear. Big thanks for being part of our journey. Let's keep discovering where Pi is headed, together. Before delving into the specific time frame, I want to express gratitude to anyone who still show us support. How did Pi Network gain traction initially? Why did it witness an influx of 20, 30 million users? It happened during the pinnacle of the cryptocurrency market where the majority were partaking in various mining projects, employing mining machines. During this period, Pi Network's innovation of enabling free mobile mining stood out. They introduced the revolutionary idea of free mobile mining when the market was saturated with expensive mining machines. This was particularly groundbreaking during the cryptocurrency craze. Many perceived Bitcoin and Ethereum mining as overly complex, making the prospect of clicking a button on their phones each day to potentially own the next Bitcoin quite appealing. Fast forward to the end of 2021, where the official announcement of the closed mainnet was made, and on June 28, 2022, when Pi 2 Day had yet to open for hosting. Some might have questioned Pi Network's credibility, assuming that without a mainnet, further participation was futile. Were they prophetic in anticipating the project's failure? Or are those of us still active, just realizing this now? If Pi Network doesn't open its main net by the specified time, it's essentially in jeopardy. I believe that more percentages of my downline will personally discontinue clicking on Lightning and even contemplate on installing the Pi Network app from my phone. So, when should Pi Network open its main net by? It should happen before the next bull market in the cryptocurrency space. When is that? In 2024, in accordance with the consensus within the crypto investment community, aligning with the next Bitcoin halving, a pivotal factor for a bullish market. In addition to the Bitcoin halving, there are three other catalysts. For the next bull market, the potential approval of a Bitcoin ETF, the Ethereum Cancun upgrade in early 2024, and the tokenization of real-world assets RWA, anticipated to bring $2 trillion of traditional assets into the cryptocurrency space over the next five years. Therefore, 2024 is anticipated to be a bull market year. 
Consequently, I believe Pi Network should open its main net in 2024. Blockchain projects typically launch before a bull market to capitalize on the hype. However, what if Pi Network doesn't open its main net in 2024? If the crypto market isn't bullish in the next two years, which seems unlikely, Pi Network should open its main net no later than 2025. An extended closed main net period will result in user frustration and businesses within the ecosystem will struggle. The closed main net was initially intended to establish a robust ecosystem before opening. However, it's been nearly two years and there hasn't been substantial progress in the Pi ecosystem. The development team has actively organized hackathons, sponsored university competitions, held monthly ecosystem contests, and implemented the Ambassador program. Nevertheless, ecosystem progress appears to be less than ideal. Closed mainnet or not, the primary concern is whether Pi Network can sustain its ecosystem development. There's a trade-off between the benefits of a closed mainnet, no exchange listings, less sell pressure, and the drawbacks, lack of liquidity, no market price. For Nicholas, the founder of Pi Network, the decision to open the main net isn't solely contingent on meeting certain conditions, but is rather a choice. He is apprehensive that if all pioneers KYC and hold Pi, there will be a massive sell-off, causing the price of Pi to plummet. This concern is rooted in the history of another coin with a mobile mining model that went directly to exchanges, resulting in a significant sell-off and the coin losing its value. So the question is whether Pi Network opening its main net will lead to a similar result or a different outcome. Perhaps with everyone KYC'd and Pi mapped, people will be hesitant to sell, waiting to see the price stabilize. The Pi community has a strong consensus, supporting the market with enough buying pressure to counteract the selling pressure. The Pi price stabilizes, and people in the community become confident in developing the ecosystem and engaging in barter transactions. This is the ideal scenario that Pi users hope for, the scene when Pi Network opens its main net. It's not impossible, it's just waiting for the right moment, a time of market frenzy, to open the main net. Throughout the project, the focus of the Pi team has been on the ecosystem. They believe that the ecosystem generates demand, demand generates liquidity, and liquidity generates value. On the other hand, I believe that heat generates demand. Demand generates the ecosystem. The ecosystem generates liquidity, and liquidity generates value. In 2025, it's highly likely to be the most bullish and frenzied time in the cryptocurrency market. If Pi Network doesn't open its main net before this time, I believe Pi Network is really done. It's time to stop clicking on lightning. So, what do you think? If Pi Network doesn't open its main net by the end of 2025, will you continue clicking on lightning? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's content, remember to like and subscribe to this channel, Fortune TV Show, YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.